Telegram as a platform is pretty much unparalleled. It has nearly 1 billion active monthly users. And of course, there are a lot of big social media platforms out there, but Telegram is by far the biggest that nobody really talks about with regularity. And actually, you may have noticed recently that a lot of your favorite crypto projects have probably shifted from group chats in Discord to now group chats in Telegram. A lot of people's very first exposure to cryptocurrency is gonna come via Telegram and also possibly its related TON, T-O-N network. I'd probably go as far as to say that it may be the easiest onboarding platform for new crypto users that is available today. So basically, Telegram is underrated in a lot of different ways, massively so, but we're gonna try to remedy that at least a little bit by looking at four projects that you really ought to know about in the TON network. Welcome to the channel. My name is Maddie, and this is Altcoin Buzz. All the best of luck if you choose to invest, whether that's in Ton projects or whatever else. I wish you well. Just remember that I'm not a financial or investment advisor. Hopefully that is obvious, just in case it isn't, friendly reminder. And also please be reminded that this video is not official financial or investment advice. We first begin here with TapSwap, which is a tap to earn Telegram app. You do it all on Telegram too, uh, and you can tap on various things and earn in the process. TapSwap gamifies sharing and use of codes to make or save money. The idea here is that TapSwap gamifies sharing and use of codes to make or to save money. So for example, there is this one of watching a video on 10 small business ideas that you can start for under $100, and you can earn 400,000 TAPS, T-A-P-S, for that. And as you can see, it's kind of similar to airdrop hunting. The point of the game is to increase engagement and community building. And there are daily bonuses, and it's easy for projects to set up campaigns. Also, since almost 1 billion people use Telegram, as I mentioned in the introduction, that is massive potential TAM, or Total Addressable Market, T-A-M. Plus, many of those billion users don't use crypto or the TON network, T-O-N, just yet, but some will convert. That is statistically inevitable. And so it's a great way to get more engagement, grow a community, and get a more even token distribution throughout that community for decentralization and shared incentives. Like I said, it's super easy. All you do is tap on your screen. So it's very user-friendly, it's very inviting, very low barriers to entry uh, as far as this one goes. Moving right along here, uh, if you've been following games and or Ton recently, then you've probably heard of Hamster Combat with a K. In the game, it's like you are managing your own tier one crypto exchange, meaning it's your job to make the right decisions to help the business succeed and continue to grow. And of course, while you do that, there are tasks and quests and other airdrop qualifying events. Right now you get tokens for completion, but the TGE, the token generation event for the game, has not yet taken place. And one of the questions players and followers have is, will there be a strict one-to-one -one conversion of game points into tokens or not? If that's not the case, what will the ratio be? The game is a great way to learn about crypto. And some of the puzzles include trivia questions like, what date did the first Ethereum transaction take place? There are also a lot of different achievements to unlock and earn more tokens. One thing to watch out for is rule changes from the team. It's hard to look up info about the game on X and not see complaints about changing formats and extending quests to make players play for longer in return for fewer results and fewer rewards. So just be aware of that. It's a fair criticism that we've observed so far. But that said, they have a huge following. And if you believe that the following and the community can make or break a game, then Hamster Combat really is, by that metric at least, on the road to becoming a success. As we've seen with airdrop-driven projects, they can lead to a huge jumpstart for a project, or they can be mismanaged, honestly, and fumbled. And those fumbles often lead to failures. So just know what you're getting into here. That's kind of uh, the territory that we're dealing with. Next up here is S-T-O-N, S-T-O-N dot Phi. I think that's how you say it. Otherwise, how would I pronounce that? Stone dot Phi? S-T-O-N, I'm gonna go with that. It's an AMM DEX for TON, and we like that. With S-T-O-N, you can invest in LPs, like on many AMMs. A couple of the more popular ones are TON USDT, which is by far the most popular and pays about 4.5%, and NOT TON, N-O-T TON, which pays 22%. 
So there are some pretty good deals out there uh, if you're already involved in the Ton ecosystem or for those that want to get involved. Those are pretty great returns. By the way, did you know that USDT is now issued natively on Ton? Not a lot of people do, but this is the case as of July 2024. There are 469 pools and 27 farms on STON. So you have lots of choices here depending on what your risk profile may be. And with STON, you can also swap. There are hundreds of coins on offer, but they do often fall into one of three categories. Either games, meme coins, or Jetton coins. Jetton coins are TON's ERC-20 equivalent, basically. It's the general token standard. And a quick scroll here shows that Jetton or J versions of USDT and USDC, Doge, Mantle, Wrapped BTC, and others exist. And so it's likely that one of your favorite projects has a Jetton equivalent here on TON. And there are staking opportunities as well. And if you create your own token in TON, you can list it and sell it here. STON is covering all the important bases for a fast growing ecosystem like TON. And one last thing is that STON supports all the major TON wallets. But the only major wallets that support the TON network are SafePal and OKX wallet. If you don't have those, then you're gonna need a TON native wallet like TON wallet or TON keeper or open mask for those wanting a MetaMask like experience. All right, last but not least here and staying on the topic of Jetton coins on TON, our last pick is a little bit of a wild card. We're looking at Gram coin here and it's Gram, G-R-A-M token, which launched in February. Gram is the first POW miner Jetton coin for TON. It has its own mining pool, so you can mine the token and you can even mine directly from your browser. At the moment, there is not a lot to this project, to be honest, but look, if you believe in mining and in the proof of work model, then this is a way that you can show that support from within the TON ecosystem. The coin launched in February at 77 one hundredths of a cent. It got as high as about 7.1 cents in late March. And as you can see, has since been on a major downward trend, which I will not sugarcoat. The current price uh, is now below the initial listing price at uh, 51 one hundredths of a cent. Eston.fi, BitGet, and DDust are the places to go if you want to take a chance on this coin. This is for the serious risk takers out there. I probably wouldn't personally recommend it, but it exists. It's certainly the DGEN option here in terms of the projects that we've discussed in this video. For the rest of you, there are more conservative options out there. Stick to one and two.